Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. Uh, this is uh, the 1075 difficulty uh, uh, series, uh, which I'm calling masochism because you have to be a masochist to uh, want to uh, do this. Anyway, um, things are uh, progressing here uh, and I'm just going to apologize on the uh, any sniffly sound quality or whatever. Uh, it's uh, apparently allergy season and uh, well, um, the new drugs from the doctor haven't kicked in yet, you know? Uh, you know, get this. I actually talked to a doctor. Who knew? Anyway, um, uh, we're getting, uh, we got a absolutely brilliant breakthrough, uh, which is, uh, cryosleep, uh, which means we can get, uh, 34 colonists instead of 14. And that's uh, definitely going to be good uh, because the uh, difficulty level has no um, 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 no second rocket, right? Um, and I kind of want to get low G engineering um, so that I can start with a medium dome. Uh, now it's going to require uh, twenty. Um, polymer and it does have polymer maintenance uh, so that may not be the uh, ideal solution but having the uh, the larger dome could be worth it whoops um, on the other hand I could just stick with these two um, um, basic domes and uh, stick a passage between them and then they'll uh, then it'll have bulletproof uh, resource sharing between them. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get things going. Uh, this here is uh, uh, headed off to uh, eventually uh, capture some uh, meteors. Um, let's um, go over here and uh, check in on our um, excitement over here with our uh, landscaping. Uh, you know, we're making progress over here. Um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, we want to get up on here and then, uh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, progress is being had. Um, now, what do, uh, okay, we need 10 polymers for a basic dome. Now, if we have 34 colonists, we're going to need three, three, um, uh, apartments uh, yeah or we're gonna have homeless people and we're gonna need the we're definitely gonna need food production too so uh, that's going to uh, require uh, setting some things up too uh, anyway uh, once this uh, meteor mission is done we'll send the rocket back to earth and uh, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, well I suppose we'll be able to uh, call our uh, or prepare to call our uh, colonists in uh, which will mean building a dome uh, but I'm going to need to uh, call in some uh, well I think I've got enough resources for the moment um, yeah uh, so I'm going to need to establish some uh, some power uh, operations here uh, additional power uh, I'm going to need to um, yeah, so what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to put the agriculture stuff over here. So I'm going to need, to, uh, I think, a couple of ranches. And then uh, I'll put the, put, uh, put the living stuff over here. Yeah, the, the colonists won't be particularly happy about working in a uh, foreign dome. Um... So, yeah, I'm not sure on that. Um, yeah, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll parcel out that, those resources when it comes time to actually build everything. Um, yeah, the basic domes, they just need concrete maintenance. Uh, I, think it, I think they just need concrete maintenance. Does it say in here? Uh, basic dome, maintenance, one concrete. Medium dome is not researched yet uh right yeah so we're gonna need also um water uh that's uh that's the thing we're gonna need here um 
Yeah, yeah, we definitely need to get some water online, and that's going to uh, that's going to need either some vaporators or a water extractor. Um, oh, our uh, mission's off. Um, right. Uh, okay, so I don't have vaporator technology, but I do have extractors, and that is. Uh, 5,900 water. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm definitely good. I'm going to need a couple of moxies. Uh, oxygen tanks. Uh, water tank. Water towers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to build some, uh, some stuff here. Uh, the ranch here is, uh, going to be the, uh, uh, going to be the the workhorse for uh, food. Uh, we don't care about the um, the the whatchamacallits, the uh, vegetarians. Uh, they can be unhappy if they want. Uh, we're also going to need to at some point stuck uh, stick up a dome somewhere uh, where we can uh, store the idiots and uh, the renegades. Um, now by doing that. Uh, we can put a dome somewhere with uh, no uh, resources and let them, uh, you know, basically uh, starve. Now, what have we found here? Uh, well, it's going to show um, new text. Uh, right. How's this doing? 34%. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, new text. What's that going to reveal? Um, yeah, we got a lot of surface metal here, uh, so, uh, I really should, uh, send my, uh, or send a, uh, a drone commander out to, uh, uh, to, um, uh, repair the, uh, the, uh, transport, uh, microgravity medicine emergency training. Uh, emergency training, uh, yeah, um, and then microgravity medicine, okay. Uh, planetary survey is going to reveal some, uh, 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 anomalies in orbit, um, uh, which may, I say may, um, uh, delay the, uh, uh, the, the, the colonist, uh, call, uh, as if we get the right, uh, breakthroughs, uh, it may be worth delaying. Uh, in particular, I would love to have immortal cables or, and, or immortal pipes. Uh, those would be absolutely brilliant. Um, and, uh, there's potentially, oh, there's one more that would be really nice. And that's the one that turns excess, uh, uh, power into research points. Um, if I were to get that one, uh, then, uh, well, I'll be able to do a lot of research before the colonists come and get things really well established before then. Because uh, then I could just uh, build a whole parcel of power generation. And then I could uh, build my way up and get the Mohole mine and, uh, you know, available. Uh, you, you know, before calling uh, colonists, and then we'd have no resource issues. But uh, that requires a lot of work and a lot of uh, buying uh, stuff because mohole is expensive uh, to build. Um, but what I want to do is have a uh, large supply of, uh, well, I need a large supply of machine parts and uh, metal and concrete. Uh, so you know, waste rock uh, liquefaction, I think it is, uh, which allows us to turn waste rock into concrete, would be absolutely brilliant. Um, right. Okay, so we're doing okay up here. Um, you are the explorer. You can go back and park in your safety over there. Because that should keep it uh, protected from the uh, dust devils, right? 
Um, it's not entirely certain that it will, but uh, you know, it uh, it can't make it uh, you know more vulnerable at least. And it's right beside the thing. Oh, we had some metal right there, uh, and no uh, no anomaly there. Um, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So there's two more up there, and then it's uh, uh, down here, and then fill in the gaps, unless we have deep scanning. Uh, do I have deep scanning revealed? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Nope. No, we definitely want subsurface heating before the uh, colonists come as well. So we definitely definitely want to get these um, these bits here. Uh, and then, uh, then call the colonists. So uh, that's definitely, definitely part of the plan. Um, okay, so this corner here, um, I'm kind of hoping there's an anomaly here. I, the anomalies are all in the same place uh, uh, every time you play a map. Uh, I just can't remember if there's an anomaly there or not and whether it's a deep scan one or not. There's there's quite a few deep scan anomalies. So uh, let's uh, actually check in on the mission profile. Um, we need to analyze two more anomalies and we get a second rocket. Um, so that's kind of uh, where I want to uh, to go. And uh, you know I want to have that second rocket so that when the rocket blows up, because it's going to, um, or it's lost in uh, exploring an anomaly in, in orbit, uh, then we can go ahead and, uh, well, you know, still have a rocket um, without having to sink, uh, you know, three billion or something into getting a new one or a ridiculous amount of resources. Okay, our uh, meteor storm is about to uh, launch. Um, now, these guys are powered okay so if it lands there we're uh, okay um oh they're over here um okay um where are you Ooh, you could get clobbered no oh that's gonna drift right over top of us isn't it Right. Um, what I should do... Uh, get this guy up. And then uh, bring him around. Uh, wait. Uh, no, I'll wait for that, to, that scan to finish. Uh, what we'll do, though, is land the rocket. You know, that seems like a smart move. I mean, if the rocket's on the ground, then we can launch it again, right? Now, up here, uh, how's the uh, scan coming? 90%. Okay, so when that's done, if there's an anomaly there, the uh, rover will go out and uh, explore it right away. And if not, well, it will do whatever it does, right? Uh, but just park there. Uh, or it'll be working its way over here. Uh, we, oh, we have a breakthrough, is it? No, it's new text. It's new text. Um, okay. So it was good leaving the rover there. Um, yeah, that's just going to continue. Um, yeah. Uh, what do I, I, I need, uh, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And, uh. When the analysis is done, I'll bring it home, and then uh, oh, we got another meteor storm coming. Um, well, I'm okay with that. Okay, now you can come over here, and we'll just uh, kind of babysit it, but let's take a look in here. Field Extractors, Martian Institute of Science. Okay. I've never found fueled extractors to be particularly useful. Um, it, but if you have boatloads of fuel, you can extract stuff faster. But by the time I'm in that situation, I'm usually, I usually have the Mohole mine 
and uh, what are uh, we got surface polymers lying all over the place here yeah um, okay um, yeah usually by the time uh, field extractors would be even useful uh, I've got Mohole and uh, the other, uh, the Concrete Wonder, up, and uh, I don't actually need them. And I've got stacks and stacks of, uh, of um, uh, vaporators for water and all of that jazz, right? Um, we've got another Sol worth of uh, Meteors. And they're working their way up to our plateau. Okay. Whoops. You can go in there. Um, yeah, under the uh, protection of the uh, zappers. Uh, right. Ooh. Well, that got one. That got two. That... Ha! <laughs> See? Uh, that's why you want to have those things if you're going to, uh, call meteors down. Um... Uh, because that gets, uh, uh, you know, it stops your colony from getting smashed, right? Um, and of course, uh, blueprint things don't get uh, clobbered uh, by uh, meteors either. Uh, so these uh, ghost things aren't uh, costing us anything either. Right, so that's... Uh, that's a big stack of uh, meteors. Um, I think maybe I probably want another one of those zappers over here. Um, ultimately. Um, wow, that was a big one. Now, of course, the the other problem is if the uh, zappers are uh, too effective, uh, you don't get uh, you don't get the uh, the uh, uh, anomalies or whatever popping up from them, right? And uh, you know that's uh, that's a thing to uh, keep in mind as well, uh, right? Okay, so we're uh, we got a cold wave coming. Uh, well, that's okay. Uh, that's not going to cause any particular problem for our uh, colonists who aren't here yet. Uh, and while it's annoying for the uh, the um, uh, stuff that is here, it's uh, eight, nine. Okay, so that's that plateau. Uh, um, run in there. Uh, okay, so we're we're uh, ninety five percent on planetary survey. Uh, you have uh, you have enough uh, fuel, so you can launch. Uh, right. Uh, okay, where are we at here? Um. How's the, uh, we still have 400 and some concrete in there to extract. Um, right. Uh, meteor storm in 22 hours. Well, that should be exciting. Uh, this is just about done. Um, yeah. Where are we at here? 
Yeah, I need one more uh, surface anomaly that we can actually reach. Uh, how's that doing? Almost 60%. Well, we've been extracting waste rock, so, you know, there's that. Um, planetary survey. Okay. Well, that's, uh, we'll leave that for now. Um, what's up here? Um, okay, so we got Project Chariot, which is resources. Breakthrough needs seven colonists. Uh, resources. Unknown with three, uh, three drones. Unknown with nine drones. Research progress, seven colonists. Breakthrough, geologists. New text, ten drones. Um, explorer for resources. Hmm. Resources could be good or it could be useless. Um, and the unknowns, you could easily lose your rocket. So, yeah. So we didn't get anything terribly useful out of that. Uh, right. Okay. So our meteor storm is uh, coming. 12 hours now. Uh, let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to tempt fate. Send. See what the resources are. Uh, it could be rare metals, in which case that would be great because I can take them back to Earth. Or it could be a stack of polymers or anything that could be useful. Um, yeah, it could be anything. Um, okay. Now the question is, where's the meteor storm going to clobber? Uh, we had one, or it's probably going to be right here. Or it'll be down here where we can't get to anything. Uh, that would be fun. Um, right. Twenty six polymers. Well, that's not so bad. Uh, okay, where's the meteor storm going to come in? Um, Oh, right on top of us. Uh, but it'll drift this way. Uh, or it should. Uh, right. You can land. Um, now, maybe we'll get uh, some something useful there, like a research anomaly. Okay, we got some in there. These things are coming from all directions. That's uh, that's kind of fun. Um, now, of course, uh, my luck is won't get anything terribly exciting here. But you know, it is kind of fun watching them come down. All oh, right, those are useful spots for uh, meteors. See, my luck would be the uh, research anomaly would pop up somewhere where you can't get to it, right? Um, that would be my luck.
But of course, uh, so far that doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, we're not even getting an anomaly, so um, yeah, I was kind of hoping, but I'm not sure what the odds are of uh, getting one, but uh, you know, it'd be kind of nice. A cold wave in two hours, so that's going to be entertaining. Okay. Yep, that's a cold wave. Um, yeah. Now, uh, I should check in over here and see. Uh, looks like we have enough power. It looks like we have enough power to keep everything going. Okay. Meteors are still coming in, and uh, not causing us any particular grief. Oh, I suppose that would be worth uh, exploring, and uh, that one, since they have potentially somewhere that something could pop up. Um, no, nah, we're not going to get any anomalies out of this one uh, either. Um, yeah, but maybe we've got a whole bunch of resources, so, you know, that'd be okay. Um, yeah, yeah, metals and uh, polymers from the skies are uh, kind of good as well. Uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, uh where things, uh, Oh, we found, we got a research anomaly. Um, okay, our uh, friend is uh, heading off to, uh, uh, to um, explore it. Um, yeah, that doesn't seem to be an issue. You're down here. Um, you go there. You go there. Oh. Nope, you go over here. Need to stay away from those things. There we go. Uh, meteor storm is done, so we can let that that uh, an anomaly get researched, and this should get us our second rocket. Uh, in which case, I will send uh, send up uh, a, a rocket to those unknowns. And I'll leave the second rocket on Earth for when we call passengers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'll do. Now, you, when you're done there, you you need to go back home. Uh, okay, you can go back home. Right? Yep, we got a new rocket. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's go up here. Uh, this one needs colonists. That one is unknown, needs three drones. Well, we'll send the expedition there. Um, yep. So when it finishes fueling, it'll uh, head off. Uh, and maybe we'll get something useful, or maybe we won't. Uh, hard to say. Uh, but we've got another rocket on Earth, or at least we should have. Uh, available rockets, one. Yep. And we have five supply pods as well. Uh, let's um, check in here again. Um, uh, we need to research five more breakthroughs to get the 3,000 million funding there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, our, uh, buddy here is home. Uh, let's, um, check in over here. 
this here is uh, 105 waste rock to go. Um, this is uh, where maybe an RC dozer would would be uh, useful, but uh, yeah, um, once the the there's got to be some anomalies up here, uh, one or two of them. But anyway, we've uh, we got uh, most of the way to storage compression, so there's that. Um, I think I'll uh, run it out till storage compression is done, uh, or maybe until this here. Maybe until the uh, the mission is done, and then uh, anyway, see what we get out of it, and then I'll then I'll put the cut after that. Uh, yeah, it, that just seems like the thing to do. So so that's what I'll do. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it's, we're only half an hour in, so it's it's not too bad. Uh, anyway. Uh, that should get uh, that should get a uh, you know, well something to happen anyway. Um, right, autonomous extractors. That's the other uh, breakthrough that I'd really love to have because uh, then we could go and extract rare metals and uh, metals and uh, not need uh, colonists to do that. There's storage compression, so. That'll be good, because we'll build some uh, solid storage. Now, uh, in here... <laughs> that's the one I wanted. Because that's another 10, so we'll be able to bring 44 passengers. Yes, yes, that's the one I wanted. Yes. And I think I definitely want uh, low G engineering as well. Uh, now it's uh, really important uh, low G engineering and yeah, we'll do that one first then compact passenger module and then the rest of those yeah yeah we definitely need the the medium dome uh, to to uh, make things work well with that many uh, um, uh, uh, you know colonists coming in um, right domes homes do we have we have apartments good good we have apartments um so that means uh oh well three of them uh yeah three of them would uh, give us plenty of space um how much was the uh how much did the apartment uh, complex 24. Yeah. 28. We'd need four living complexes otherwise. Eh, which we could do. Uh, stick a agriculture dome over here with a couple and uh, and everything else went over here with a couple. Uh, that could work. But we got, like, the ground here, though, is lousy with polymers. So uh, we could definitely uh, just do that as well. So we're just about to find out what that mystery mission is. And then, uh, there we go. A derelict. Ooh. Uh, we discovered the remains of a crashed rocket. Da-da-da-da-da. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, ooh, building prefabs. Um, okay, well, we got building prefabs. Um, okay, I, I can, uh, I can live with that. Now, what were they? Um, were they in here? No. Um, in here. We got a vaporator. Um, okay. We got a vaporator. Um, we didn't get anything useful in there. Um, Uh, 
Um, right, okay. Um, you know, I could start uh, raising the temperature too. Um, now, in here. Oh, we got a Sterling generator. Uh, okay. Uh, and anything in here? Drone hub. Okay, well, that was worth doing. Well worth doing. Uh, okay, so we have a Sterling generator. Um, uh, which is giving us... Uh, what is a Sterling generator giving us? We have one. Uh, yeah, we're just getting the, the base. So, yeah. Well, that's okay then. Um, I think I will take the risk on the uh, other mystery anomaly. Uh, we have that other rocket on Earth, so I think it's uh, worth the risk. Um, so I'll uh, queue that up. Uh, that's uh, this one, right? No, that's uh, that one. Nine drones. Um, yeah, so that's a risk, but we have the uh, drone hub. So... Um, yeah, we'll send the expedition with MacGyver number one. Uh, send. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, so uh, that's uh, that's going to be it for this time. So um, so we're going to pause this. And, uh, you know, we're going to put the cut here. So, uh, you know, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And uh, I'll be back next time with more riveting Surviving Mars.